Welcome back to Self Built. Today I'm going to be showing you a hack for your quick jacks that you cannot go without. It makes life so much easier. It's way inexpensive. And I'm comparing three different products to see which one is the best for you. So let's hop into it. The problem that you'll quickly find out when you get your quick jacks is once you get it situated and put by your car, when it's laying flat and you're trying to just position it and get it in there right before you start to lift it, that it doesn't move very well. It's, I mean, these things are 97 pounds, so they're pretty heavy. And when you, when you push it, it's hard to be precise. I'll usually end up pushing and shove it a little too far, or when I pull it back, same result. So just to make things a little bit easier is to add ball bearing casters. There's a lot of videos that talk about these, but I'm gonna be comparing three different kinds to show you which one's the best and to save you a little bit of time because because I would like to have the best performance out of my modifications because I mean these things are fancy and they're expensive so I want them to move and fill just as nice. So let's jump into what different products we're going to do and I use double sided tape to attach the bearings on these just to see how it works. It's not a permanent solution so just to see which one of these is the best and then I can attach it more securely in the future. The first one that I tried this is a 5 8 metal ball bearing and it works pretty well. My biggest beef with it is if you look at the cement, it's kind of hard to tell because it's so old, but you can see tons of scratch marks. And I don't know if that's just how I have it set up, but it scratched the crap out of my cement. And I'm gonna have an epoxy flooring one of these days and I don't wanna have to worry about it damaging it. That led me to getting some nylon casters in the same size. And while these don't damage the floor, they don't spin very well. <laughs> They're not that awesome. So I was a little disappointed. This is what I'm going to switch and compare it to. This is a one inch metal ball. And with it being one inch, I'm hoping that with it spreading out the pressure on the ground that it doesn't scratch it or anything like that. And also, I mean, this can handle more weight and it spins a lot more free. So it should make this moving around even smoother. But what we're going to do is I'll set both of these down. I'll move it around so you can get a comparison and then we'll switch it to that so we can see which one's the best. First test is the 5 8 wheel casters, the metal ones. So sliding it around, fairly easy. There's some noise to it, but I mean it's on concrete. So it moves nice and easy. The only thing I don't like is just the scratches. Second test are the 5 8 nylon ones. Keep moving it. It doesn't move as smooth and it's about the same loudness. I'd say it moves less just because the nylon doesn't seem to handle the weight as well, even though it's rated for like 33 pounds for each, which would makes, which should be able to handle it, but it's proving otherwise. I'm going to be doing the same method of attaching the one inch ball bearing caster. I'm just going to be using double sided tape on here. You want to make sure that the mating surface is clean and no grease or oils or dirt. So just wipe it with some alcohol and you should be good. I'm going to do the same step with back here because this is where the tape is going to be going. Got the double sided tape just like this. This is just to test it out and see. But honestly, when I was taking off these, it hung on pretty good. So I might just keep it this way until one falls off and then really attach it. Finding the right spot on this is really simple. On this side of the jack, this is where it's gonna be placed on that side. I'll just slide it under here until I need to pick it up just a little bit. Right about there. Then I'll just get this one that I'm going to attach and have it replace this spot. There we go. And then I'll do the same for the other sides. Easy peasy. That does seem to move pretty good. Still scratches the floor a little bit. Let me show you. 
Maybe I have the world's weakest cement, but that wasn't there before. I don't get it. All right, this side has the one inch metal ball caster and this has the five eighths metal ball caster. So moving it around, it moves really, really easy. And this one, it moves. And this one moves really good too. I will say it is a little bit louder. That might just be subjective. It might be whatever it's rolling on. But I feel like these are definitely the two best options. Yeah, this one does slide slightly a little bit better, just enough to notice, but this one does slide pretty good too. The nylon ones, by far, worst at sliding. I'm gonna stick with the one inch ball casters just because they seem to roll the best and be the quietest. One thing you may worry about is if you've got these wall hangers, wondering how much clearance you have from the wall to having them, to having the casters there too. So here you can get a pretty good view of this right here and there's room. There's definitely some leeway if I needed to change anything. But yeah, it works on the hanger and gives you plenty of room and it looks good. And that brings this video to an end. I hope that helped comparing those three different types of ball casters. Help you make the right choice the first time because I kept trying one, wasn't satisfied, try another, try another. I'm not super 100% satisfied with what I've got right now, but it's good enough. I'm not gonna worry too much. I'll leave a link in the description below of different sizes of casters that you can use. And if this was helpful for you, don't forget to give it a like, share, and subscribe with everyone that you know. And we'll see you next time on More Sale Build.